well, it looks like an old caravan abandoned in the woods um, at the Benny Visitor Centre car park at Anakyown at Kinlochew. And we're working with a group of international artists to create a series of works inspired by the Beni Reserve, which is um, the UK's first national nature reserve. And this year with working with Beni and them wanting to open up the reserve and make people more aware of the, the ecosystem and um, how the reserve's managed and conserved and how ideas have changed over the last 40 or 50 years. So it's make, make people think a little bit more about when they come into to nature um, and the effect we can have. So my idea is about inverting nature into a human place and then with my other piece it's introducing a human into a natural space. This reserve, the Ben A Reserve, is, is the first national nature reserve in the UK and conservation ideas have changed a lot over the past 50 years. So they're very keen to make people aware that um, the reserve is it's owned by the public and they want the public to, to interact with it more. Um, and art is a good way of getting conversations started about our connection with nature and um, how we all have an effect on it. Yeah. On the path of my life, I have created my own image associated with my eye. To maintain this image, it becomes the aim of my life. As the time passes by, life becomes tiresome and boring. Even multiple images of my eye don't work. They lose their glitter and fill desolated in the jungle of my eye. As I moved away from the mirror and my image disappears too. Now I'm able to feel I'm a part of wall relieved from my eye. Distant blue lake is calling me setting the path of my journey on a playful jungle trail. The reflective surface on the way reminds me of my past, but I have left it far behind me. I'm on the path of nature. I'm free as the transparent jungle breeze. Yeah. <laughs> Kale, which I'm a director of, has invited artists from around the world, from Japan, India, France and Poland and Scotland to come and, and work here. Um, we've been housed, we've been invited, we've been able to use the field centre at Ben A to accommodate the artists. And um, yes, yeah, so we've been living here for the past two weeks, creating works. Salamie kopa yir rutan sheen plea at Warok is me, agus salamie fuaal. Agus a snia af kuchirk, dras a hami fual, chesid pods a hang, hami kavual thunja, hami yon komasach, hami yon dunya, agus skilen, agus tirkul tifer komasach, ek hula dunya hang. It's nice to, to have the Gaelic name. It's also a good talking point. Um, first thing people say is, how do I pronounce it? So that kind of leads into a good conversation sometimes. But Drapsha Kian Alhain, Kutrama Hagis, Feumas on Shell Hari, Hashinuluk, Tier No Root, Tier Hashinaka, Tier No Roots, Hatuma was caring on. We're wanting to connect art, community, and culture. Um, so we try to bring people from the outside in and also bring the community into the project, make them aware of it, get them involved, um, which has happened pretty well in the last couple of years. 1,600 population, uh, same pieces. Uh, I, I pray for happiness in Gary people. You know, there's a lot of artists around the place. We're, we're quite sparsely spread out and 
when, when artists come in from a different country, they come in with a fresh eye to what we might take for granted sometimes, complain about. So yeah, a lot of the artists coming in, it generates a lot of interesting conversations about what we have here and how special it is, which we often forget. <laughs> So, I'm going